This is how you easily separate Twitch live streaming music away from your Twitch VODs. So now you can live stream copyright music and in your VOD replays, the music will be muted. And this is how you do it. First, go to your settings within OBS and then go into desktop audio one and two here. Make sure both of them are disabled. You're going to want to add in audio individually so that it's not all connected to your desktop set to OBS. You want to separate all your audio sources. Next, you want to create a nested scene within OBS here on the bottom left. I call it NS for short and all your audio sources will be in there. You want to add each one individually. So what I do is click the uh, sources button, add, and then application audio output capture. For this example, we're going to add in Spotify only, but do this for your in-game audio, your uh, browser, your Discord voice. After you meet your nested scenes for your audio sources, you want to add this nested scene to all the other scenes that you use when you live stream. So your starting soon page, you want to add a, uh, a source called scene and then find audio sources and you add that in there. I already did it, but uh, you do that once on each, each of your uh, different scenes. And every time you want to adjust your audio, go to your nested audio sources and then go from there. And then it will automatically adjust for all your other scenes. Now you want to make sure your music from your Spotify does not go into your Twitch VODs. So this is how you do it. In the new OBS update, make sure it's updated to the most recent. Go to your OBS settings, output, advanced mode, streaming. Make sure audio track one is selected and then only select number two for Twitch VOD track. Checkbox this and then go to number two only. And I'll break this down real quick. Number one is everything going into your live stream, your current active live stream. All the audio sources going uh, selected for audio track one is going there. Twitch VOD track is number two. So everything uh, that you want going into your Twitch VODs replays are, are going, um, on number two. So just check box number one and number two, number one for audio track, check box number two for Twitch VOD track. After you click apply and save, uh, go to your audio mixer, uh, go to docs, audio mixer, and you'll see this on your bottom left, go to your cog wheel and find Spotify. Spotify is right here. Well, like I said earlier, auto track one, I basically everything should, everything should be checkbox for number one. So now the difference is now you want to disable track number two on your Spotify. So it does not go into your VODs. So it might be already checkboxed and just uncheckbox number two for your Spotify. Everything else can be checkboxed. I only worry about number one and number two, three, four, five, six, doesn't matter. For Spotify, make sure you find Spotify here on the bottom right here. Checkbox only number one disable or uncheck number two some final notes when you add in your individual audio source you want to you want to make sure the app is open when you add it so once you save that everything should be good you have your live stream music played on your live stream but not played in your vod replay so now you can edit those clips edit edit uh your past replays on which without worrying about having the copyright music played on your your clips on your VOD replays. I'll catch you on the next video. Stay in the loop full of coop, all the socials in the bio. See you guys later.